what's going on you guys it's Kyle Baker aka Brooks Baker aka Mutt News bringing you the video on how to prepare for Team Infinity 2 uh, on a side note my jerseys are clean my jerseys are sick I think these are pretty cool jerseys just made a little prox jersey but uh, so, yeah that's just uh, off topic but for Team Infinity 2 that is coming out on Friday along with new ranked and battle royale I'll make more stuff on the battle royale and rank stuff when it comes out on Friday. But today I'm just gonna go through Team Infinity and how to prepare early to get yourself uh, as ready as possible for the new cards. So Team Infinity 2, don't know what's gonna be themed around. Uh, maybe it could, it could be, I think it'd be cool if they did um, like live series cards, like actual like people who are playing in the game right now. Um, but they said it's going to be around 93 overalls, uh, 93, I think it was 93, 94. So a big increase in overall wise as these guys are right now and starting Friday, everybody's going to have 93s in the team. So it's kind of an overall boost, um, as you can see, or you can call it, but, um, to prepare for it, what I would do is obviously you can't really do the missions and moments, stuff like that. But what you can do is you can do these player exchanges. Now these are slightly expensive, but you can buy some you can buy some cheap um, players because these guys will probably go up uh, in price on Friday when the exchanges are live for Team Fifty Two. They they will have exchanges for sure. Um, but yeah, they they could increase in price. Uh, and if you find some cheap ones, I mean, like say, like if you go to the inventory, MLB players, you go to, I don't know, who's, like these guys, these guys don't have a, uh, these guys don't have a sell now price. So it's really a no risk, uh, no risk uh, investment. Cause you can, if you buy it for 600, you can just quick sell if you don't, if it's not gonna go up. But I think they will go up, uh, maybe not a whole time, not a whole lot, but definitely, uh, an increase in price like this guy he, he goes for 900 stubs he's selling for a thousand that's an easy flip right there um, actually is it really not really take that take back what I said um, but yeah that's that's what I would do if you guys want to make some extra stubs um, if you guys also don't want to sell the cards maybe you just want to do the uh, do the exchanges for really cheap you can do that too because like I said, you can just buy them for really cheap and put them in exchanges. Cause I think this is 10 with a hundred thousand. So that's like almost 1082 overalls right there for you. Um, I'm still not gonna exchange these guys, but if you want to do this, it gives out 20, what I think it was 20,000 XP or yeah, right? 20,000 TA. That's a good chunk of it, honestly. Cause if you start out that's, if that's eight, that's, uh, what is it? That's the 10, 10 82s. Um, it's 11, it's about 11. We'll just say 11, just because it's 9,700. 9, so, what are 82s going for? 82s should go for about 900 stubs. Yeah, 900 stubs. Yeah, so if you buy 900 stubs, that's about, what, 10K? Um, 10k for 20,000 that's not bad and again like they'll probably go up in price um, on Friday when it actually comes out where am I going programs there you go so if you bang out if you bang out 20k XP right there that's it's getting it there and if you want to do the rest of the exchanges also not a bad idea because this one that's like 682s obviously you could probably find some other way to make it cheaper uh, maybe like buying a diamonds cheaper actually eh, diamond might be cheaper actually yeah let me check that what's the best way to what's the most efficient way i guess you could say uh i guess it's kind of the same because the 85 oh there isn't it am i tripping where are all the 85s at is there no live series is there no live series diamonds in the now no, there's gotta be there's gotta be at least one diamond. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let me check. Okay, let's go somewhere else. I know that has a diamond. 
reds. Do they have a diamond? They have a diamond. Come on. Oh, we were just here. Okay. My bad. Um, but you get the idea. You could mess around and figure out which ones. I mean, this one, I feel like the noise is, oh, no, noise is gone. Okay. So you go here, um, 85s or 20,000. So basically that'd be 585s. Nah, it's the 82s are probably the move or maybe like 83s. But you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. Find best value and find players who don't have a just have a quick sell value, like like I said over here with the uh, the Kyle Bradish, you can buy him for 600 subs, and if he doesn't go up, you can just quick sell it and get your money back, or you could put them in exchanges. Uh, I think the 82s are the move. I think I'm not 100% sure. Uh, just again, mess around. Maybe 83s are better, 84s. Um, but yeah, and then obviously with the other stuff. There's gonna be conquests to do, um, probably a showdown to do. I don't know. I'm gonna say I doubt it. Yes, yeah, season one. Okay, but say I doubt those season vouchers go over towards uh, Team Fifty Two. So you can't really hold on to those. But yeah, if you want to have a little head start for that, just do the player exchanges. These, if you all of them, that's thirty k. Oh, I missed it. Thirty k, thirty four, thirty six, thirty seven. So you get the max 37,000, which is almost a bond habit. Now these, the, the chapter two for season one, Team Infinity, they'll probably have better rewards. I may, maybe they do the same little path as this, but I'd hope there's better rewards in this. Um, but yeah, you can get to 3,700, which is almost a player. Yeah, and if you do the conquest, I think the conquest give you 20K. Oh, Congo's gonna be 30k. So if you do all the exchanges, which is, I don't know, uh, what did we do the math? It was like 11k, or, or yeah, 11k-ish for the that one. And then do a half, 15k. It's probably do, it's probably 20k for each division, or each, con or to do all the exchanges. 20k to do all the exchanges, which is kind of pricey, but at the same time, not really. Um, and then if you do a conquest, you would get, you'll get a 93, you can get 93 day one, very, very easily, very attainable. And I obviously don't know the cards in the team Finney, so, but I would assume they're pretty, pretty good. Again, I hope they do like live series guys, like people who are playing today instead of legends. Um, but they usually do that. They usually do like a live series one or do a, uh, or they do like uh, prospects and stuff like that, which is also cool. But yeah, that's basically the video. I just wanted to go on here, tell you guys to do the exchanges, get some players. This is kind of like the only way to prepare um, until Friday, obviously, to do the missions and moments and the conquest and the exchanges. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to hop on and say that. Um, if it did help you guys, make sure you like the video. Um, also comment down below if there's like faster way or like the cheapest way to do all the exchanges. But I think the 82 is the best uh, way, I think. Maybe the 83s. I actually go to store right now. So 83s are like 1,200. All right, here we go. Um, player exchanges. 83s, so you probably need 12,000. For 100k, uh, let's do some quick mass here. Uh, I think that's gonna be the same. Wait, let's see here. 83,000, so 12 or 100,000 divided by 12,425. Need about eight of them, so eight times uh, 1,200. That's 9,600, so it's a little cheaper. So the 83s are the move, it looks like. And besides the 84s, we check the 84s right here too. So 100,000 divided by 15,909. You're gonna need about 6.2 84s uh, times by 1,500. 9,428 
so they're all around the same price range um so 84s i think 84s 83s the move we can check the 82s here so 100k divided by 9737 that's about 10.2 82s times that by 900 9243 so they're all around the same price range um for the exchanges so there's not really a certain move i would just try to get as much as possible and the good thing too what you could also do when you're buying the players you could buy players who you might think go might go up um but it's kind of hard for that just because their prices probably increase anyways and you want the cheapest option but say i don't know maybe you think i don't think randy's been very good but maybe you think randy's gonna go up maybe you just buy a couple randy's uh at 600 stubs and Maybe you just hold on to them where you can uh, do the exchanges. But like, there's a ton of guys who don't have sell now, so you can easily put orders in to just just get the exchanges done. But yeah, that's basically the video. Make sure you just follow the socials down below. Like the video if it helps. Um, come back to it if you guys need to on Friday. But hopefully, you guys make some stubs out there. And yeah, subscribe, like comment and I'm out. Peace.